Hi, I'm Roger Sutton, I'm the Chief Executive at Sarah and welcome to another update about what's been happening in the recovery around Canterbury. In talking about the recovery, people talk a lot about the bricks, the buildings, the roads, the sewers, the houses, all the things we need to get fixed. But we don't often talk about enough is the fact we're doing it for the people. We're doing it for the mums and dads, the families, the old people and the young people who we need to look after to get them through this quake. We at CERA have been working with a large number of other organisations to try and bring together a strategy, which we've now done called the Community in Mind Strategy, which is about trying to bring together a whole lot of different things to ensure we do look after the people well. The strategy we brought to, we worked with uh, people like the Red Cross, the District Health Board, um, the different city councils and district councils, but also church organisations to bring together a strategy about the wider well-being of our community. The sort of thing it emphasises and supports is the work the Red Cross have done over the last few years in supporting volunteers who have been working out in the community. Volunteers that have been door knocking, volunteers that have been organising all sorts of different events. It talks about the All Right campaign, All Right's this programme where we've tried to do social marketing to get people to talk about what you need to do to keep ourselves well and looked after um, in this different environment. It's got things like counselling in there. You know, in the first year after the quake, something like 62,000 people had free counselling free counselling sessions by, by relationships ART Aroa. I think that number's down to about a tenth of that number now. Something like 7,000 people are still getting regular counselling. But the sort of sessions people are getting um, are taking you know, are lasting longer. They're over more sessions rather than rather than shorter sessions. They've got more hard issues to talk about. There's a whole lot of other stuff that, that is also dealt with in the Community of Mind um, strategy and it's worth having a look on our website to find out more about it. If you want to access any of the services we talk about, the, the Canterbury Helpline is, a, is an 0800 number where you can find about a whole lot of different support services, whether it be the earthquake support coordinators, whether it be the Find and Fix program to fix houses that need support that or fixing that insurance companies haven't done, or whether it's to find out about the free counselling. That number is on your screen now. Every six months, we do a big survey to understand how the wider population in Canterbury is doing following the earthquakes. But in the last few months, we've done a youth survey as well to understand how the youth are tracking. We went around a whole lot of different places where youth were to get them to fill out a survey. We were around schools, uh, places we find young people, and so like over 3,000 filled out a survey talking about how they're tracking following the quakes. People are generally actually tracking pretty well. They feel positive about living in Canterbury, they see lots of opportunity, be it in training, be it in um, work opportunities. The biggest thing we came across was people feel a lack of things to do and places to congregate. And that's kind of understandable considering all the stuff that fell down. So we're now working with a bunch of partners to see what can be done to restore some of those other facilities and get other sort of things to do going in Canterbury. A really positive thing was that four out of five young people who completed the survey said they do have people to turn to if they're actually struggling with issues. They know where to go for support. And that's really important. It's really important that when people are going through difficult times, we know there are the other people around there that will actually back them. So if you want to find out more about the youth survey, you can have a look at the CERA website and all the results are up there. One of the things that came out of the youth survey was young people were saying, give us some more things to do. We're now working with a bunch of organisations to try and organise a winter chill series. A series of events where young people can chill out. The government's come up with $100,000, Fletcher Building have come up with $50,000 and we now want to start getting some events together. If you want to organise one of those winter chill events, get in touch with us. Have a look at our website at www.sera.govt.nz um, and have a look at what we're looking for. Or send us an email at info um, at sera.govt.nz and we'll send you um, some information about what we're looking to do. And also a form you can fill out applying for the money. We want these events to be run by young people, for young people. We want people to have a great time and really um, enjoy the rest of this winter. We've talked a lot about the community stuff in this update, 
But I thought we should also talk for a few minutes just about how things are going in terms of the physical world as well. If you drive around the city now, we'll see a lot more happening. Clearly there's a lot of roadworks going on, and a lot of those roadworks in the central city that's been holding up those big arterial one-way streets, a lot of that's going to start winding down over the next few weeks and months, which is great. We're also seeing a lot of building going on. We're seeing stuff happening on Victoria Street. We're seeing a lot of stuff happening on Cambridge Terrace, Durham Street, um, the area around the retail precinct. Heaps of stuff is going on, which is fantastic. We also had announcements about uh, the Performing Arts Precinct, uh, the bus exchange. We've seen buildings open. So if you go down to uh, the corner of High Street and Litchfield Street, the Strangers Building was officially opened a few weeks ago by the Prime Minister. And down on the ground floor there, there's a bunch of new restaurants, bars, and a whole lot of other cool things as well. The government have announced they're bringing 1,700 public servants into the central city, into new buildings that will be going to be built over the next year or so. So a lot is happening, and that's really exciting. But for people who are struggling, struggling with all sorts of issues, I'd really encourage you to seek you know, support and backup. The 0800 Canterbury support line is a good place to start. They can direct you to a whole range of different support services available, whether your house is, um, needs fixing, whether you need some temporary repairs done, or whether you just need some support from an earthquake support coordinator. All this is on and is in the Greater Christchurch Recovery Update, which should be in Letterbox really soon, or go out and check on our website. Thanks till next month. See ya.